Hey, Coach Vaughn here, here to share some more steel mace education, focusing more on pushing and pulling. These are grind type movements you do normally with barbells or dumbbells, but with this offset weight, we can now change that up, putting that weight further, and if you want to make it easier, you can just bring it closer to the mace. So the first one is a press out. I'm going to have a stat grip position here. I'm going to press it out, squeezing my glutes, keep my shoulders packed down, elbows are locked out, and I'm going to pull it back in. Notice how the mace isn't going back and forth like this. I'm keeping it vertical the whole time, keeping my shoulders down and back. This really helps for people as well to get better with the 360 once you get good at packing those lats down. So make sure you do both sides once you get good with that. So then we'll bring it to the front rack position here. And normally what people do with barbells is they have this really bad grip position with their wrist and they can't get enough lat activation. Now we get to pull this in. I get to put it further away from the mace. My lat has to work hard on this side and then my oblique on this side has to really pack down like I'm doing a side point. So once I press it overhead, my body has to really work to stay symmetrical when it wants to be here. So it's a lot of core strength to pull it back down with your lat. You're not leaning like this. So like I said, you can make it easier simply bring it closer to the mace right there. And if you want to make it more, you just got to make it further and further in closer to the mace. Lastly, we'll do a pull with the bent over row. I have both palms down, feet sort of width apart. And this, my base hand is going to be pushing toward the ground. This hand's going to be pulling. I'm going to row it into my lap. Notice how I'm thumbless here. This is a personal preference. If you want to do it with thumbs, if your wrist can handle that, do that. I like to do it thumbless because that keeps my wrist in a straighter position here and then bring it there. Remember, you can make it harder, so at least that, that mace hand down right here. Now it feels 10 pounds heavier when I bring it closer, going in. And make sure you keep your spine in a good position. You're not rotating. So this is an anti-rotation drill. We don't want to be rowing with the knees going back and forth like this. So keep those knees over the hips, driving that mace back, driving it gently down with the arm extended. So if you want to add a little bit more strength moves with your flow type movements, have a new workout with that. Be sure to check that out. This is Coach Vaughn signing off. Have fun with that.